Here we have the self-unloading coal ship. This is going to be just mostly just talking about the parts. <clears throat> what I have here is the front end. This whole thing was made on using a bicycle tube tire on a VEX track. So that's ended up making it 36 inches long and everything else sort of built up after that. Got all these built. First one worked out really good and after that I've been having to drill out things so it can actually slide and open up all the way. We got the pan and tilt mounted. What we have here is part of the reason I'm not doing this all at once is when I have the gears in here, it ends up being up against the rubber and I'm thinking it's gonna end up cutting through it even. So what I, what I did is I ordered some bearings that'll fill in from here to the edge from here to the edge so it'll be solid all the way across here and it won't we'll find out how that works but anyway the, the pan and tilt works good it lifts it right up down in here the things go up go across there still working on this part here I can't really do much more because I'd have to take it all apart again when I, when I put this stuff back together. So this is sort of just sitting here. The screws are loose. But anyway, you can get the idea here. This runs. Those dump. This lifts it up. Puts it into here. This runs it out to here, and when this is tilted all the way over to the right, this one will be dumping it into that one so I can offload it. So this will be a self-unloading coal ship. I've got the controller set up. These, are, these open up the hoppers. These I ended up, they're, they're connected here, but they're not connected to the Arduino. I ended up, when I turned the things upside down and made this, they opened up enough that all the coal dumps out. So I don't need to jiggle them to try and get them to work. So anyway, these are hooked up. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I might end up having this open and that close it or something. I don't know. But right now, that will close all of them. These are the four conveyors. That turns all the conveyors off. This is just an on off button that activates these to be in red or being able to be used. I have them marked where the center line is. So if I move them up and down, I can move them back to the right place. So when it starts up, they don't go jiggling all around anywhere. I have a kilowatt on here to see how many amps this all the stuff draws I have two amps running all the servos and stuff like that and then a seven and a half volt to run the Arduino and put a little box and stuff in here to keep it from getting shorted out on all the bolts and stuff hanging around the way this is gonna work is I have this is going to have a side piece going all the way across here. Going on this side of this and filling in on the top some kind of wood. And I'm going to have to make holes in all of it and hopper covers. And then after that I figured out how to make the hopper cover lifter comes up here and lifts the hoppers so the coal can get dumped inside the hoppers. So here we go. We got lots of parts. 
it's all pretty much together but I'm just waiting for those other parts to finish this up so I can do the, a run test on it and that'll be the next one it's just but I'm doing all this part just so I don't have to talk about it before the run so it won't be all 14,000 hour video so here we go we got the self unloading coal ship bye